Welcome to a destructive entry test. I want to see how easy it is to forcibly open up one of these brass padlocks if we hit the lock at its weakest point. Brass padlocks of this kind are very common in Germany. If made by a well-known manufacturer, they usually feature a hardened steel shackle of all different kind of diameters, which makes it hard to cut or saw through. In most of these padlocks, you will find a 5-pin core with security pins and a pericentric keyway which is almost impossible to rake open and very hard to pick. And on high quality products like this Avos, you will find tight tolerances on the shackle so that a shimming attack is out of the question. It's just too tight in there to get two shims in at the same time to pull the shackle out. If we open up the padlock, we can see that one side of the shackle comes out completely. And we can look in the chamber. There is this spring-loaded locking pole. And I think that this part here on the side is the weakest point. I've marked the position on the shackle and that's the depth the shackle goes in. Now if we manage to cut open a little window here on the side, we might be able to twist out the shackle and therewith open up the lock. Okay, so here we have our little victim, the Abus 4550. Works just normally and is locked up. From the bottom we can see a drain hole, that's the side where the shackle goes in much deeper. So we will attack the other side. And I have a, just a hand saw with a fresh blade. And I will hold the lock in the hand and try to cut this side away. Let's give it a try. might be even easier if the lock hangs on a chain so that you don't have to hold it with your hand but maybe that's already deep enough so here is the cut okay just use a screwdriver to try to pry this away and here we can see a little bit of the shackle exposed I'm not sure if this is sufficient to um, pry it out or to twist it out, but we'll give it a try anyway. Maybe I have to hold it with a strong grip here. Nope, this does not yet work. So we have to work a little bit more on the cutting. Okay, try to pry this out. Okay, give it another try. Okay, I think we are done. The lock gives up and it's open. So, this was my first time that I tried this method. I think um, if you give it, a thumb, give it a few more thoughts on how exactly you have to um, put the saw to get a better cut, you will be much faster. 
but this has worked not too bad. So here I'm back with a lock in my resume. Actually I was expecting this to be a little bit quicker and easier, but I think if I had made the cut steeper and deeper at the first time, I would have been able to twist out the shackle with less effort. It was more like a proof of concept to show you the point that although with a hardened steel shackle and a paracentric keyway with security pins, you still be able to cut through this soft brass body very quickly and very easily with just a hand saw like this. And you have seen I even held the padlock in my hand and it was not a big deal. So no matter how hard the hardened steel shackle is, no matter how thick it is, no matter how big the brass body actually is, think about a lock like this, you still have this vulnerable thin part of the body that can be cut really easily and if you manage to open a little window you can twist out the shackle and open up the padlock. So I think that criminals know about all kind of attacks for these padlocks and so think about what kind of padlock you might want to use if you really want to secure some valuables, maybe brass is not the right choice. Alright, so that was that. I hope you found this interesting. See you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.